In this segment, we're going to talk about pre-training methods for sequence-to-sequence -sequence models, and uh, in particular, a technique called BART. So we've talked about standard language models, which have this uh, distribution they place over sequences and are trained uh, kind of unidirectionally, where they just generate the next word based on the previous words. Then we talked about masked language models, which have uh, a kind of bidirectional nature to them and use masking to avoid the kind of cheating problem. So if we think about tasks which have the form p of y given x, things like machine translation, how can we pre-train a model that's going to be good at these? It doesn't feel quite like these other problems somehow. So we could think a little bit about why BERT and its variants were effective. And one reason is that this, the kind of way that we did masking required some kind of understanding, right? Like if we said, you know, John visited blank and saw parrots, then like making a prediction here required uh, the model to kind of understand what kinds of places you visit and you might see parrots. And we could think about the same kind of skills from the perspective of this sequence prediction. So if we're thinking about something like machine translation, really what we want to do is we want to have a, a kind of gap here. And then we're trying to, let's say, generate the output, which is uh, maybe uh, translated into another language or summarized or something like that. Um, but we want to be able to kind of make inferences about the content in the input that was missing. So this is exactly going to be the motivation behind the pre-training schemes that get used for sequence-to-sequence -sequence models. So in particular, the BART paper from Mike Lewis et al. introduced several different methods where you effectively treat your model that you're pre-training as a kind of denoising function. And so what you're going to do is you're going to feed in uh, various masked versions of your sequence or uh, kind of sequences of words or documents that have had transformations applied to them. Like, for example, you either uh, kind of block out big chunks of the input or you permute stuff around and now you're trying to predict the unpermuted order. So these are all various pre-training tasks kind of akin to the masking in BERT that are going to ideally enable our models to learn good operations for transducing sequences. Right. Uh, so basically, the model is going to copy some stuff from the input, but then also make inferences about certain tokens. So how does this work architecturally? Well, what we do is we take a seek to seek transformer, so the kind of full version of the transformer architecture, and we feed in into the encoder this noised version of the input, and then the decoder needs to produce the clean version uh, as output. So if we compare this to BERT, BERT in some sense only has this encoder going on, right? It uses a bidirectional transformer over the encoder and fills in these masks. BART also has that. But BART also has this decoder, uh, it, and the encoder doesn't, isn't actually responsible for mask prediction. Instead, that happens in the decoder. But theoretically, BART is sort of a superset of BERT in that you could take the encoder and use it for any task where you were going to use BERT. But now, instead, you also have this uh, kind of seek-to-seek -seek transformer that is going to be able to do other tasks for you. And as an example of what it can do, one of the headline results in the BART paper was on text summarization. So just to kind of go through the data steps of how this works, we pre-trained the model on the BART task, so these random chunks of text that are noised according to what we described a few slides ago, and then you try to produce the clean text. And then you fine tune that model on a data set of human written summaries, basically a news article and then a summary that an editor wrote of that article. And the kind of thing it will produce looks like this. So it can take this uh, article about Eliud Kipchoge running a marathon in less than two hours and produce a summary that kind of summarizes this succinctly. Now, this kind of suggests why the BART objectives might be a good idea, because if you uh, kind of mask out some information from the input and then force the model to infer it, that's kind of the same as being able to consider a bunch of stuff from the input and be able to infer, oh, okay, the important thing here is that he ran a marathon in less than two hours. 
So this kind of special pre-training technique, the fact that it's fit to the summarization task uh, is helpful and it kind of suggests why some of these seek-to-seek -seek approaches are going to be effective for some of these tasks, an idea which we'll come back to later. That's the end of this segment.